miles long, including the approaches, 4,200 feet from tower to tower. And the towers are not perfectly vertical. Each tower deflects six inches toward each shoreline just to create the cable tension. Although we're not feeling any tension, we're riding high in an open-air fire engine. We're on the Golden Gate Bridge, the most famous bridge in the world. South Tower, 50 stories high, 500 feet above the roadway, Art Deco in design. The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge. The only thing holding up the roadway are these cables we see up ahead. 80,000 miles of wire create the cables that hold up the roadway. And they built the bridge so it could actually sag up to 16 feet, should it ever get to be 110 degrees on the bridge. Well, I don't think it will ever get that hot, but we know the bridge sags. On the 50th anniversary in 1987, no vehicles were allowed on the bridge. Over 800,000 people walked across the Golden Gate. And with all those people walking on the bridge, it started to sag, and everyone thought it was going to collapse. But the bridge is built to accommodate extreme weight, extreme heat, and the bridge even sways in the wind. Off to the left are the Marin Headlands, and they go all the way out to the Point Bonita Lighthouse. Off to my right, we can see Alcatraz, and directly next to it, Angel Island. Now, Angel Island was a military base with a lot of history, and it is now a recreational island. No vehicles are allowed on the island, so you can take a ferry to Angel Island, have a picnic and take a hike, and enjoy the beautiful views from the bay. Also off to my right, we can see the other bridge in the bay, the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge. It's actually three bridges, two bridges and the Cantilever section, and it's 7.3 miles long. 